The soul of the west side of Evansville is West Franklin Street, and at the heart of Franklin Street stands the massive Laval Block building. John Laval was born in Hessen, Darmstadt, Germany in 1826. While still in Germany, he learned to be a druggist. He immigrated to America in 1849 and settled in Evansville. The following year, he opened a drugstore on Main Street, and his sons later joined him in the business. For several decades, he continued successfully in the trade before turning operations over to his sons. In 1870, he was elected treasurer of the People's Savings Bank, a position he filled for seven years. John Laval served as a county commissioner in the 1880s, and for four years before his death, he filled the position of trustee at Willard Library. He died on February 6, 1931, from pneumonia. Laval was very respected for his hard work and his business acumen. Over time, he invested in real estate and became the owner of a considerable amount of property, which includes this commercial block on Franklin Street. This building was constructed in 1884. The Laval Block is one of the few surviving buildings from the period when the western section of the city was still called Independence. The two-story brick building consists of six individual ground floor shops with living quarters above. The second floor windows are two over two, set in round arched openings. At the top of each arch is a prominent keystone. The top of the facade is ornamented with brick corbeling that has been painted with contrasting colors to highlight the intricate brickwork. The building is topped with a large pediment containing the name Laval Block. On the first floor, the retail shops retain the original plate glass and each store is framed with cast iron pilasters. Among his first tenants were druggist John W. Lorenz, baker and confectioner Augustus J. Ritter, as well as William Scherfus, who sold boots, shoes, and dry goods. All three were newcomers to the West Franklin Street Commercial District, and each lived above their stores. Over time, many different merchants have called the Laval Block home. Today, all six commercial spaces remained filled. According to late City Preservation Officer Joan Marchand, at the time of its construction and for years afterwards, the Laval Block stands out as one of the most handsome, substantial commercial buildings on West Franklin Street.